How to use italics. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. We've consulted a selection of the world's leading authorities on punctuation, including the Oxford English Dictionary, the Penguin Guide to Punctuation, and Lynn Truss's Eat Shoots and Leaves to bring you this guide to using italics. Step 1. Emphasis or contrast. The most common use for italics is to draw attention to a particular part of a text in order to show emphasis or contrast. For example, he was so full he couldn't finish the last cookie, even though it looked absolutely delicious. He had managed to eat not nine, but ten whole cookies. The first example shows emphasis, the second shows contrast. Step 2. Titles. Another use for italics occurs when writing titles of complete works, for example books, films or musical compositions. I just can't stop reading the Collins Pocket English Dictionary. We watched Halloween last night and it scared the pants off us. There is an exception to this rule, which is that the names of holy books are not written in italics. For example, the Holy Bible. Step 3. Foreign words. Italics can also be used when foreign words are talked about in a sentence. For example, the Latin word caudex roughly translates as blockhead. Italics also appear when foreign words or phrases that are not regarded as fully part of the English language are used. For example, I just got the weirdest feeling of déjà vu. Step 4. Citing English words. Instead of using single quotes, you can use italics when citing English words that are being talked about. For example, I love the word flabbergasted. Or, the words through and through may sound the same, but obviously have very different meanings. Step 5. Specific purposes. Finally, italics are used for various specific purposes in certain disciplines. Two of the more common examples are in biology and legal cases. In legal cases, italics are used when writing the name of the case. The famous case of Gideon versus Wainwright was a landmark in American legal history. Note that only the two names appear in italics, while the abbreviation V appears in normal type. In biology, the italics are used for the genus or species names of living creatures. Homo sapiens, the name for the human species, belongs to the genus Homo. Note that the genus name always uses a capital letter, while the species name never does. Done.